the winner of the 2014 Northern Territory Community and Government Award winner is Gillian Ritherden. From Thank you so much. I'm simultaneously thrilled, proud and humbled to have been selected as the recipient of this prestigious award. Thank you to Telstra, the Telstra Business Women's Awards team, the judges, the sponsors, to the very worthy other finalist, Suzanne, and to all the participants. Thank you also to the anonymous person who nominated me. I will hunt you down. <laughs> it has been a fabulous journey and one that I would highly recommend to anyone who is nominated. The application process is, at first blush, incredibly daunting, but it is so worth the effort in the terms of the reflection of the highs and the lows of one's journey. And this journey was not travelled in isolation. I would not be standing here today without my fabulous team at the YWCA of Darwin. My staff, my managers, my volunteer board who give their time tirelessly, who have all walked beside me along the way. My congratulations to Telstra on this 20 year milestone. At this time in 1994, I was living in the Kimberley running my own business. In 1984, my elder daughter had just been born and I was preparing to leave New Zealand to return to the Sultanate of Oman. In 1974, I was dreaming of living in Paris. I achieved that dream and there I met my first and very significant mentor, a Holocaust survivor who embodied equal opportunity, employing many with disability, refugees, new immigrants, the odd Kiwi, before she chose to become an Australian, and notably, young Germans. Bernard taught me the value in human, societal, and commercial terms of kindness. I believe very strongly in kindness as an essential human value. In the late 1980s, I was living in Abuja, Nigeria, infamous for the 200 schoolgirls who were recently kidnapped and who are still missing. I have experienced firsthand the utter terror of being the target of mob violence. Did I stop, sit my young daughter down, and ask everyone politely, please, let's take a moment to discuss this situation from a position of love. Please, should we understand and give full appreciation and understanding of my Anglo-Saxon cultural and colonial heritage? Absolutely not. I was terrified. My child was clinging to me like a limpet, and I developed a Herculean strength and determination to survive that. But has that stopped me from believing in kindness? Absolutely not. I have visited 40 and lived in 19 countries, and I know that the vast majority of people in this world are kind and decent and adhere to a set of human values that transcend religion, culture, race, colour or gender. My negative experiences have only reinforced my desire to push for a kinder world. Kindness can be small, a smile, a word of encouragement. It can be as big as finding a job in your business for somebody desperate to change. The most rewarding experiences you will ever have in your life are to those who succeed in changing whilst still remaining deeply connected to their communities and cultures, returning to them as respected voices of wisdom to guide and to mentor those at risk of going down the wrong path. My two most successful business decisions were providing a job to someone everyone deemed as unemployable, and man, were they wrong, and insisting that a young larrikin take on an oh and coordinator position in order to understand why I desperately needed him to stay safe. That young man has gone on to have a successful career in the Navy and graduated last year with a Bachelor of Engineering. As someone who has a strongly corporate background, may I please take this opportunity tonight to especially applaud those in the for-purpose sector who work with remarkable resilience with the most disadvantaged in our communities 
And I conclude in the, in the four purpose, our police, our doctors, our nurses, our ambulance drivers. Four purpose organisations have the same stringent governance obligations as any other business operating in Australia. And it is a misconception, believe me, to think of a managerial role in the community sector as an easy option. It requires copious amounts of compassion and resilience. In Australia, the for-purpose sector is bigger than defence and its workforce is comprised of around 84% of women and approximately 56 of those are over 45 years of age. So corporate background aside, I'm meeting the demographic. Finally, I know that I'm extremely fortunate to be living and working in the Territory with its lifestyle and in an environment where opportunity abounds, innovation is encouraged, access to stakeholders is relatively easy. Thank you to everyone who has extended a warm and indeed sometimes very hot hand of territory and friendship to me in the last two and a half years. It feels much longer, it feels like home, and you're all stuck with me now because this Rolling Stone is in the process of buying a house up here. So thank you.